Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk to you about the books I'm going to read the next month. So it's going to be a more personal video compared to the videos we usually do about blockchain, Ethereum and all of that. However, I think it could be interesting to, to share this kind of um, things as well. I can share my books and you can share your books because books are really what uh, forms our worldview, I would say. A very big part of our worldview comes from books, if you actually read books. I mean, if you don't read books, maybe your worldview will come from friends and and TV shows and uh, the news you, you, you see and read. Uh, however, if you do read books, I think that uh, you'll get a lot of uh, wisdom and knowledge and perspectives on the world from books. Uh, and, and that is why I think it's so interesting to talk to people about books. Also, I want to show you my uh, my setup when I record videos. As you'll see, it's, uh, it's extremely professional. So let's get into it, guys. Let's start with... Let's start with the setup. So this is where I usually sit and uh, program. And so here is the little table that stands on top of another table. I think they are both from IKEA. And so here is where I have my camera and I feel myself sitting here. And here's the picture and here's the plant. And um, the plant is my co-host. Some of you have mentioned the plant <laughs> and it's really funny because you can really see it grow day by day or actually it's been just a couple of weeks so maybe you, you don't see it grow yet however if we continue doing daily videos for a year two years uh, maybe we'll see some <laughs> some progress on the plant also i have another plant right there so i have two plants and also one in the window here's where my barbell is i usually program for 20 minutes or I study for 20 minutes and then I do some exercises with the barbell uh, for five minutes and so here I usually do curls or military press sometimes legs but this is just 30 kilo so it's a bit too light for legs but I think it it can still give you good circulation in the legs if you if you do 15 or 20 reps. So 30 kilograms can actually be enough for a small break uh, when you program or work. And here's my bed. Uh, so I have my office next to the bed. Some people would argue that that's a bad choice. However, it actually works for me. Uh, here is some dumbbells. So I usually do some exercises with the barbell and then I switch to the dumbbells and do more um, more like shoulder exercises, flies and uh, tricep, um, things like that. And so I usually do some exercises here and then I walk, walk over to the other side and do more exercises there. Also I have I have some weights below my table in order to raise the level of the table. Uh, so it's really low tech. <laughs> I have a really low tech table, but I needed a higher table. And that is, so, that is why I had to raise it. So this is how my setup looks like, guys. And I really like the window. It's get, it, it gets sunny in the evening and... It's really bright setup. So let's get into the books, guys. The book number one is Machine Learning by Stephen Marsland. And this is a book we actually read in the university when I did my uh, artificial intelligence and deep learning courses. However, however, guys, as you know, whenever you read a book in school, you never really read it thoroughly. Maybe you open it in the middle and you read some random chapter that the teacher found interesting. However, it's very rarely that you open the book from page one and you go all the way through to, to the end. And um, I've been feeling that I would like to get a deeper perspective 
on this topic of machine learning. Although I have finished a couple of courses on machine learning, uh, I want to have deeper knowledge. And one way to get this knowledge for me would be to reread this book from the beginning and do all the exercises and really understand what I'm doing. Uh, so this, this is something I'm going to focus on in the coming couple of weeks. And so my next book is by Seth Godin. Uh, he's a really famous author. He writes about marketing and personal branding. Uh, but this book is about the dip, as you can see on the cover. And the dip is basically everyone is basically what everyone who has ever started a project or a business or a new venture, they have experienced the dip. And that is basically when you are excited about the project in the beginning. However, soon enough, you realize how much, how hard it actually is and how much resistance you will face. And then you are in this dip and you need to either power through the dip and get to the other end or you should realize that this is not worth uh, pursuing and um, and stop pursuing this project so it will be interesting to uh, to read so as you can see the extraordinary benefits of knowing when to quit and when to stick i really would like to know seth seth's thoughts on on this matter uh seth seth yeah man some english names are crazy like seth seth's thoughts next book is arnold schwarzenegger's total recall the biography of arnold schwarzenegger and that is another person i admire so i do admire seth and i also admire arnold schwarzenegger because he came as an immigrant with with basically nothing and um, He's been a successful politician, a successful bodybuilder, and um, what else? And a successful TV star, movie star, of course. And so it will be really interesting to read his story from the beginning to the end. And I've actually started on it already. So I'm on page 58. Uh, and it really starts with his story in, in uh, Austria and he explains like how things were back home when he was a kid and then when he moved to the US and all of that so you really get to read all of his story so that is the third book i'm planning to read that i've actually started all right the fourth book is not really a book like it's not a book book uh, it's called the dog drum uh, which means daydream uh, and as you see guys, this is this is a book where you develop your mental strength, I suppose. You, you, dev you learn how to handle stress, how to deal with stress and different situations. I'm not sure what this will be really about, but it's about mental, your mental health. When you are, when you have many projects as I do and you you're studying and you're doing this YouTube, how do you actually handle your mental, your mental state? Uh, so it will be really, really interesting to follow. I, we'll see if I actually have time to write in this. Uh, because as, as you see, you have to... So you read about stress and then you have to fill in something. Uh, it seems interesting though. So I will try to, to do this and write, write down the exercises. Let's see. Yeah, so this is the fourth book, Daydream. And it could be a really nice exercise to train your mental, mental strength, I guess. Or not more mental strength, more your mental health and state of mind, I suppose. And finally, the fifth book I'm going to read is actually a Russian book. So I am I am a Russian native speaker. Uh, however, I don't I haven't spoken like Russian in my everyday life since uh, 2005 2006. So I speak Russian very rarely nowadays. And this is a fantasy book called The Convoy uh, about something in space and 
I like science fiction, and so this is why I chose this book. Uh, but this is mainly to train to train Russian, uh, and you realize how fast you forget languages when you don't use them, and so that is why I I want to read this book, and I've actually I've actually tried to read it before, uh, but then I just didn't have time to stick and follow through, so I came to page forty four, and I'm going to. I think I'm going to start over because I don't really remember what what happened in this book. So this will be this will also be interesting, and so this this is what I plan on reading. However, guys, <laughs> this will take more than than a month for me, especially this machine learning book. I mean, it it's not like you just read through this. You you need to understand. You need to Google and you need to do all, all of the exercises. So it could be a challenge to really ex uh, uh, complete all of the all of the exercises but that is what I what I am planning on planning on doing because that is how I learned programming back in the days I did exercises and I read and I read a book from the beginning to the end and did all of the exercises and that is what works for me I need to read a book and I need to do all of the exercises to really get something this is just interesting thoughts by Seth. Seth goes in. Arnold, really interesting biography. Daydream for the mental health, and science fiction book for Russian training. That's it, guys. What do you read? That would be really interesting. So, I want to. I wanted to share with you my like my uh, my books that I'm planning to read and it would be really interesting to hear what books you read. So leave your leave your books in the comment section below guys. And if you are a new viewer and you like technology, you like blockchain, artificial intelligence, programming, you should definitely to subscribe to this channel guys because you will find this channel interesting. I myself am a software developer and I post videos every single day, guys. So today we discuss the books I'm going to read and I'll see you guys tomorrow.